Hello everyone, hey, Kazeri. Yeah, over here, I look like a bandit. Anyway, this is me, Frank uh, Severo. I am Frank Severo. That's me. Anyway, I want to wish everybody a good day, a good afternoon, good evening, whatever you happen to be in the world. Stay safe. Stay out of harm's way. And, uh, you know, some people ask me, hey, you know, when we're going to see you in the next movie. And, you know, I just don't do any kind of movie, you know. I'm not into those kind of movies that go to the tapes, a video, whatever, DVDs, you know. I want to do movies that go to the screen, you know, big motion pictures. If they're not that kind of caliber, I'm not interested. So I turn everything down. So when they rise, say, the last thing it did was 2008. No, it's because uh, there was other projects I was supposed to do. Unfortunately, they didn't work out, you know. So anyway, let's continue to follow me. I am Frank Severo. And I want to thank you. So just remember, I'm still around. You know, at 2020 and going into 2021, I'm I'm alive and well. You know, I write screenplays. I write TV series. You know, for, for me to star along with other major stars. You know, hopefully they get made. You know, these are things based on me. You know, not anybody. Uh, these experiences of my life, you know, I've been part of Hollywood for over 50 years. And remember, I grew up in East New York, Brooklyn, Bronxville. That's where I grew up. So when I left Brooklyn, I went to Hollywood. And, uh, you know, I, even I shot part of The Godfather Part Two in Hollywood, you know, which was supposed to be in New York. But anyway, there's a lot of stuff that goes on in a lot of these movies. Sometimes, you know, that we you're supposed to be a certain location and uh, they go somewhere else to shoot certain things. Uh, depends on the season when they do shoot. So, uh, I mean, if it's rainy, they'll make rain. If it's snow, you know, they'll make snow. You know what I mean? They got machines that do all the special effects, you know. And so... Um, Anyway, uh, I remember I was uh, there was a movie that I was working on, and uh, you know every time we had to reshoot a scene, you know there was footprints on the snow, so they had people, special effects people that used to have block of ice, and they used to have a snow machine that used to fly and fill up all the uh, holes that were made from the prior scene, you know take and that was imprinted. So we had to do it all over again like it was fresh snow. And the same thing with rain, you know, so it could be a sunny day out, they shoot up, they get the fire hydrants and shoot up in the air and it comes down like it's raining, you know. But anyway, listen, uh, I'm just giving you, giving you a little bit of behind the scenes story, you know, and uh, I wish everybody stay safe, you know, and uh, remember, I'm alive and well, and I'm in the business. I just don't do the type of work a lot of people do. I've been around way before these people were born. I've been in the biggest movies ever made. I set an example for a lot of the people that supposedly they call themselves actor. actors. They have no concept what acting is all about, none. They don't have the training because the teachers are not around no more. Those kind of teachers are around today, they, they, they're fegazi. You know, fegazi means fake. You know, they give you third, fourth generation, uh, uh, you know, uh, teaching, coaching. And I went from the originals. That's what makes me different. So I don't compare myself with anybody. I don't want to, and I don't care what anybody else does. You know, I, I mean, I respect certain people to a certain point, but it doesn't mean that I accept their work, or how they do it, how they approach it, because they have no concept unless they're on stage. And when you, to go on stage and to and to carry a play for two and a half hours, you better know what you're doing. You better know your craft, like a surgeon does when he has to. If it's a cardiologist, he has to operate on the heart. He knows the, every muscle, every vein, everything. Otherwise, the patient dies, or any organs of your body. That's how I treat acting. All right, listen, uh, I wish everybody a good day, good evening, good night, and I hope not to get bored. And I'm very sensitive when it comes to acting because 99.9 .9 people don't understand what that means. You know, tell me how many people ask the surgeon every muscle of somebody's heart. They can't tell you that. That's private. 
You understand? So anyway, in order for uh, acting for me to explain to you how to go about it, even the best in the business, even the best, I could still do certain things that could trigger them. Either I could take them. You know, one thing about Goodfellas, getting back to Goodfellas, do you think you know, I first day of filming, they never, would never say, they never say, hey, you know, Frank Sverro did this. You know, the reason that we had got humor in the dark, humor in the movie, they go ahead and get credit themselves. They forget that Frank Severo was the one that started it. Without me, there's no, Goodfellas is not a classic the way it is. They don't give that kind of credit. Only certain people have written in every scene that I'm in that it's very gruesome. And I said this before. And I took that gruesomeness out where people didn't go home and have nightmares over it. I was able to do that and in a moment to moment as an actor. I was able to bring out certain tools where I took that tension away and made, and people made the people forget about that. There was a very gruesome scene. And they remember what I said in Italian or what I said in English, if it was the coffee pot, you can get the car warm up, but you know, if it's the fur coat scene, whatever it was in the movie. What I me doing those kind of things? Movie's different. Another actor would have been a total different movie. We wouldn't have this kind of discussion. I wouldn't be telling you that. But they never give me credit and say, hey, Frank Severo, the first day of filming, this is what happened. It was the Samuel Jackson scene. Even that Martin Scorsese talks about it. On the third day shooting, I had to shoot this important scene that where he teaches he charges whatever, $20 for a master class. And he talks about a little bit about Goodfellas. So oh, I, after the third day, no, it's not the third day. It was the first day of filming, of filming. I have that call sheet that says May 1st was the first day of filming. And it was the scene between me, Samuel Jackson, Joe Pesci. And I, that's where the movie began as far as it changed the whole theory of Scorsese's mind when he saw what I was doing and when he saw the chemistry between Pesci and I with the humor, it didn't happen all the movie. It's, yeah, yeah, it happened everywhere. But I set the example because the next day he told everybody, he says, hey, I, I want everybody to come forward. We're doing a bar scene. I don't want anybody to say anything. Whenever Frank Sabero speaks Italian, I don't want anybody to duplicate what he says, and, and whenever he does something, I don't want anybody to do the same thing. Does everybody understand that? And that's the truth. There's no reason for me to make up stories. I'm just letting you know that I'm supposed to be getting credit. I don't get credit. They give credit to all the bums. They're bums over there. I don't respect those kind of people. Give me the credit the way it deserves. You understand? I'm the guy, what I mean, forget about it. You understand? Forget about it, it's a different movie. But they don't think that way because they're brainwashed. You understand? I might never work with these people again, but I'm letting you know the truth. That's right. What I mean, what I might humor, Without my dark humor in that movie, it's not the same. I'm the guy that started from the first day of filming. And when he saw that, I carried through the, every other scenes, even they were done earlier or after, but I, was, I set it up. And then when the movie came out in 1990, which we filmed in 1989, all those other movies like Donny Brasco or whatever movies that were done after that, uh, you know, uh, uh, Sopranos, which I turned down, I never, I never got involved in it. I never watched any of it, even that I knew ninety percent of the people, you know. Uh, and whatever other gangster movie it was made after Goodfellas, or even after Godfather, I was in Godfather too. I set an example for the Italians too, and Goodfellas. But I never get credit. I never get credit for doing the right thing for people. What's the big deal? I give credit to everybody. I try to wish everybody the best. All right, listen, you take care of yourself. Remember, what I just told you is the truth. It's no bullshit. I don't bullshit about anything because I'm very sensitive about my craft. I'm a trained, well-trained actor who's done stage, movies, and television, and everything. Thank you. Have a good day, good evening, good night. Bye-bye.